right, so where last we left off, y'all were in the middle of combat, and the shit's going down. But finally, we got captains fighting, a severed head was thrown, like, y'all have started getting in on the action, have, and have taken to the rooftops for prime advantage. You know, that, that good real estate. Uh, you guys had also robbed a pet store, so like, hey, DM uh, achievement for me. I've never had a party rob a pet store before. Man, you gave us the opportunity. You know what? I did, and you guys kind of created the opportunity amongst all the chaos. So that that's how things work out. I, I didn't expect everyone to rob a pet store, but yet here we are. <laughs> now we got Big Joe. And now you got Big Joe. And honestly, Big Joe couldn't be happier because Akisu makes him the pup that he always wanted to be. Yes. And for everyone uh, just tuning in, hello and welcome to One Piece D&D Dungeons and Devil Fruits. I am your DM, Orion, and with me as always is Captain Akisu, uh, played by Micah. What up? We got... That's me. Yes, it is. We <laughs> have uh, our ship doctor, Snyder, played by Scrim Bimbus. Hello! The... Everfast Shipwright uh, Chibiusa, played by Siana. Ooh. And Tonga Wirio, played by Sam. How's it going? Uh, it, it's been a week. I've had to take some thoughts on uh, where things are going with all this, because uh, I can't exactly convey all the things that are going on in the background. But, you know, the big um, big moves happen in this in the game big moves yeah the uh the map right now is like seeing the cluster of enemies circles and squares and shit mm. yeah the we we do have some of that from last time if you remember we got that little uh the thai prison or as uh the captain vex called it the thai thai festival we have that little square of grease some oil over there but getting right into it, uh, we're, uh, we're resuming right where we left off with Tonga at the top of the order. Yeah. Yeah, you've had, right, you've had a so, whole week to think on this one. All right. So as, as things are kind of going down here, and I'm kind of watching the, the chaos and many fights ensue all over, um, I want to check out this guy right here and kind of like... Kind of, kind of get his vibe of this situation. Okay, the, cool. The um, I want you to give me a insight check. Do do do! First roll of the game. Yeah. Sixteen. Hey, that's pretty good. You can tell that this guy, although he seems to have a kind of aloof demeanor, he seems rather focused very serious about the situation like he, he's taking his place to back up his captain okay. as a first mate does i would like to attempt to cast crown of madness upon him Ooh. all right all right so um what does it look like does it look like um like, they're just standing there, and then all of a sudden they just, like, grip their head, and they're like... I was about to describe it, yeah. <laughs> I, I do like the descriptions, and okay. <laughs> I'm he does get a save on that. Uh, what, yeah. what stat is the save for, though? It is a DC 13 wisdom save. Wisdom save? You know, it's a good thing I have his stat block right here. Woohoo, Mr. Prepared. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking fail. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Hey Tonga, does a eight? <laughs> so like, in Snyder, you see like Tonga stand up onto the roof, like it's like in full view. You see his light glow from like his feet to his head. And I kind of point out a hand at him, and you'll just see like a beam shoot him in the chest, and then like the light will travel up his head, 
and just kind of like create this dark blue ring that kind of like kind of glows in this space a little bit. Then you see him kind of like his eyes glow blue as he looks at me and then nods. So basically, oh, oh, oh this is dirty. And must use his action before moving on each of his turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than himself that I mentally choose. And I'm going to choose for him to attack like the mates over here. You're yeah, sure you want to do that? Attack the cap? Like, well, the he cap is right next to the captain. He yeah, is yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I'll just have him start attacking. And it'll him. distract him from attacking us. Yeah, yeah. So I'll start. Because uh, he's like, why the fuck are you attacking me? So the target <laughs> can normally. He's turning to the picture. In your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control over this spot. So the target can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of its turns to end the effect. All right, so that's my action. Um, okay, so by line of sight, the captain can't see you. Nice. Love that. But, like, uh, most of these other guys can. Yep. And can they see me? Uh, you're you're kind of hard to miss. Uh, are you still hiding, <laughs> though? Yeah, I'm okay. on the... Yeah. Downward. Oh, one of them oh, kind of sees your hair sticking out because I rolled some perception <laughs> checks. Oh, okay. This, wait, is this all the concentration? I mean, you, you got that cotton candy hair, so it's just like, whoa, I, I see this. All right, so is there anything else you're going to do on your turn, Tonga? I'm just checking this. So it says I have to use my action to maintain it, but it doesn't say the concentration is yeah, so it's just, uh, oh, if you're using your action to maintain it? Like, on subsequent, like, next turn, to maintain the crowd. To use your action. Okay, but that's fine. You're basically having this person attack in your stead. Yeah, and then I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm a mage drummer. I'm gonna just go this yeah, as, as long as you don't get yeah. hit, you'll be able to maintain your concentration. I'll hop down this way, next to Big Joe. Big Joe? Big Joe will and defend you. Kinda, yeah, I'm just kind of like, chill there for me. And we finally have a nice looking little counter for Big Joe, and I, I'm very content with that. He strikes me as a bandana dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, He's our good. dog meat. Yes. And Follow. if you're stuck at sea long enough, he's your dog meat. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. <laughs> I'm good, like, right, here. right behind Big Joe. All right. Yeah. And with that, you, you end your turn. Head. Yep. All right. This guy over here, he is going to attempt to assist our... The vice captain not. And as he steps into the grease, he falls prone. Uh, yes. Well, when you roll oh. a three, oh. <laughs> uh, you need a lot more bonuses to stand up in grease. Would you mind um, putting a marker on that dude so I don't forget? Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, we have like a little marker thing, so let's see what we got for markers. Assign status effect. I'm sorry, Calvin. This, this is just, I have to zoom in for that, actually. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. All these little statuses. You know what? That looks like mine. No, that's stunned. I don't want stunned. Oh, it popped up and everything. That's cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Cursed, concentrating, charm. Uh, you know, I haven't used these status effects on here. I, I find it very interesting. Cursed sounds pretty accurate. Cursed is kind of cool. Yeah, you know what? I'll go with cursed. There, he's got the cursed conditions. 
and I can undo the stunned. <laughs> He's not concentrating. <laughs> oh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's concentrating. Oh, damn. Anyway, so... We're, this guy's prone, so... Be gone turn. Alright, not. Let's see what you can do. And not gets back up. And she uh, takes to her feet. She steadies herself uh, very carefully, trying not to stumble and slip again. And she's going to well, roll to see if she even gets out of here. <laughs> and she takes a step forward and just like it's like Charlie Brown, where like he goes to kick the football and he just like flips. <laughs> And she, like full rotation and it just like lands like flat on her stomach and chest and just like like Aki see you see this and you're like ooh mm -hmm. like it, you're just like yeah I've been there <laughs> I'm laughing at myself next up is Snyder all right, Snyder. The, your first official turn in the combat order. You've been playing it low key for now, but there's a big old bird man in your face. I am going to cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. I kind of like picture this as like you have a, an impact dial. Yeah. I pull out my impact dial and just like brace both arms and just rush at him press against his chest okay what's the save uh, for like I know your uh, DC's 13 is it a dex save it's a con save yes con Ooh. yes what? this might work Oh, yeah. <laughs> you knock him. And that goes, what, 10 feet? 15? 2d8 thunder damage, yeah. 10 feet. 10 feet. All right. So, 10 feet plus 2d6. 2d8. Okay, so... And, uh, and then roll for the damage. Oh, 2d6 thunder. fall damage. Yeah, I, I was rolling for fall damage. You roll for your damage. Okay, thanks. Because he's a bird, he's able to mitigate the fall damage, but that's still fall damage. Okay, so that right there. And grand total of eight. Not Ooh, great, but okay, <laughs> you still made a bird fall to the ground. <laughs> that's commendable. It really is. And he's just like, what? What is this? <laughs> and he just like, how did this happen? And he's just kind of like floundering in the air as he falls. And he just kind of like look over the edge. <laughs> okay, so that's your action. Is there anything else you want to do on your oh. turn? Um. Um. No, I think that's it. All right. No movement or bonus actions, just content. <laughs> I'm content with making How Birdman How high fall. is the platform that Snyder is on? It's about 20 feet above the ground. Oh, that's cool. So, like, these guys can't even, like, see you. Not with uh, how they're angled, no. Nice. They Although just they did the just see up there. the... One of the they zoo, fall, uh, yeah. they saw the zoo uh, first mate fall to the ground. So, and they heard the explosion from. It. All right, so moving on, we got this guy attacking this dude, and that's a hit for. Oh shit. 
Okay. <laughs> That's like 16 damage. Damn. He, he's, got him, he's got this guy down to one. <laughs> Who's got who down to one? <laughs> the, the, uh, this tie dude, he, with a flourish, he takes his tie sword and just, like, unleashes, like, a quick barrage onto uh, this poor zoo pirate dude. And, like, he just slices the cowl right off of him and to kind of, like, reveal a, a very receding hairline. And... Uh, those of you that can see from uh, where you are, this this guy has kind of like a. He, he's clearly middle aged. Like he's stuck with. He's been with the crew for a long time. It's like oh wow, <laughs> this poor guy. Mm -hmm. Oopsies. Then next is Akisu. It's me. Okay. I'm gonna use my bonus action to do. Hunter, moving the hunter's mark or something. Yeah, to this person. Ah, moving it to not. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right, and she is prone, so you'll have advantage. <laughs> nice. And you got the sneak attack because you're hitting right. Okay, so I'm gonna load up a gunpowder uh, slingshot ammo. Yeah, under normal circumstances, mm -hmm. ranged and prone don't uh, work together, but you have the high ground advantage here, so you're good. <laughs> Back. Okay. <laughs> um, so I will attack with okay. my slingshot. Hold on, I gotta find it. Advantage? Yes. Yes, indeed. Does, does that mean... That 18. Have... I know, right? You see that fucking one? <laughs> this area is just gonna be like a box of a lit ground. Yes, that's the, that's the idea. Okay, so how much damage are we looking at? <laughs> damage, okay, hold on. So it's gonna be five. Hold on, I'm not done. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a one d four. You got a lot of bonuses. Yeah. So five plus two. So seven. And then then's also a no. It's on my hunter's mark. D six. Oh yeah, gotta add that in there. Oh. Eight damage. Okay, eight then damage. Then you also have a, another D6. Huh? Another D6 for the uh, powder explosion. Is it's that a, correct, DM? It's a D6 of fire damage. Okay. Should oh. I do it, DM? No, you, you could. I mean, that's the. I mean, I'm essentially setting her on fire, so. Which also <laughs> get, sets the other guy on fire. Exactly. So that three is the fire damage. Would, okay. So would so, that count for the other two? Just three to him? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole okay. thing explodes, and they both take an extra. I'm gonna roll a d4 to add to that, because. So eight to her, and then three to that guy, and then yeah, whatever you're like, gonna add. Yeah, because like a. Wait. Okay. So. Yeah, she takes the All whole right, eleven eight damage. to her. And he is going to take some damage too. So that's the he takes four. Wouldn't damage. it be eleven to her because oh, of oh, the yeah, fire yeah. damage added onto everything? Yep. Okay. All right, there we go. That area just erupts in flame. <laughs> yeah. So this area is now just a. A boiling, sizzling mess of fire. Good. Love that. And good, good. is there... Unless you want to nope. move around, that nope. should be good for your turn. I think I got a good vantage point right here. Um, I think I want to tell Big Joe to 
do something, but I'm not sure what because I don't want him to die. Oh, did yeah. right you now also... he's doing a good job protecting Tonga. True. Yeah, I'll keep him. I'll tell him to protect Tonga and Chibi because Chibi's also back there. Mm. All right. He just kind of gives a whoop. Just a, <laughs> an affirmative yelp. All right. At least until I'm not holding my action. This is one that you guys had attacked previously, I believe. Yep. Yeah, he's like almost dead, right? <laughs> this one l surveys the situation. Is and he just turns tail and dashes <laughs> towards uh, Woodrow. Man, the zoo pirates are a bunch of fucking cowards. Yeah, for real. I'm coming, Captain! Also, you hear him shout. There's a lot of than the other ones I see, I feel it. <laughs> mm. All right. So that's his turn, because he took the dash action. This guy... Uh, doesn't know what the crown of madness thing is going doing going on here, so he's just like, yeah, sure. Heads over here to attack the now prone Birdman, and nice. he crits. Holy nice. shit! For a total of fifteen damage. Hot damn. Birdman ain't looking so hot. Love that. And that's his turn. Oh my god, you, you could have sent Big Joe in to attack the guy on the ground. <laughs> He's <laughs> a hunting dog. Get the bird, Joe. Get the bird. Get the bird. <laughs> oh, get <him. laughs> uh, but now the bird. On, one piece style. That would have been really funny. He, he gets to his feet. And he's like, ah, ah. And you just, like, you see this big old gash from where he was uh, stabbed by that pirate. He's a huge bitch. Just, he shoots him a dirty look. He looks up to where he just fell from, surveys the situation, and to his, uh, he oh, has a surprised expression on his face as he looks around, wondering, like, where the fuck his people are. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, Captain's in there. Where the fuck? And then he disengages. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> and he flies to the top of this building. Because disengaging is an action. And that that's his turn. Damn. All right. Now we're getting into the fun stuff with good old Captain Vex, because Vex don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm just waiting for Chibi to come out and just fucking slit this bird guy's throat out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the bird. <laughs> all right. So as uh, this is all going on, you kind of see Vex. Like, he kind of waves his hands around, and it seems like he's manipulating the ties within the uh, big old dome that you see in front of you. Although, it's not necessarily easy to tell what's happening on the inside. But he seems very focused on his task. And as a... That's a crit? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Good thing it's not against yeah. you guys this time. Yeah, for real. And you just hear uh, a very pained roar from the inside that's just almost deafening. It's just like, Aah! like very guttural. And uh, Vex kind of like smiles with satisfaction. And then moving on to the next turn. You see, uh, the, as, like, there's a whole bunch of, like, ripping sounds as the captain, uh, 
uh, Captain Zoo lunges through, ripping straight through all the ties. And let, let's see how this goes. Damn, these guys are rolling good. And he knocks uh, Captain Vex. Oh, fuck. Damn. Right oh. into a building, and you just hear a big old smash. Through and the he takes... Does he step on the oil? No, he, he just is sent flying, and you just see him oh, smash okay. in the building, taking 10 He's damage. Fire. <laughs> Holy. And aside from that, he just kind of like steps out and leaps forward at him. Oh, continuing the <laughs> onslaught. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and that attack misses. So, like, as he's uh, trying to go for the follow-up claw attack, uh, Captain Vex just kind of, like, uh, pulls himself together and uses uh, one of his ties to just kind of, like, hoist himself up and over him. Nice. And, and Captain Vex is now just kind of, like, a uh, dangling above <laughs> and like a uh, noose almost and no like he's just like he's holding himself up that way with the with the ties and mm. following that up for the last bit of his turn he's going to use a legendary action and what? he unleashes a massive roar that sounds different than the others and hey, hey. it's just like, to me, as he does it. it. It seems like he might be calling reinforcements. All right, all right. Okay, Tonga, you wanted this guy to attack uh, the captain, right? Um, yeah. I mean, at the time, yeah. <laughs> you can re you can change your plans. You must use this action for moving. You make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that I can change. Okay. So, um, I am kind of watching and I can see from here. I see the tie captain get fucking knocked into the fire and I lose visual. So, yeah. I'm like, all right, go after the next closest ally. Go after, go after Nop. Yeah. No, wait. The uh, this pile of is... this tie dome collapses too, so that's gone. Yeah, have him go for this guy right here. All right, so he goes forward, and now I have to look at what he has for attacks. Yeah, he just uses his full action to attack. Beat All the right. shit out of that man! <laughs> Get him! He lunges forward, <laughs> whip and dagger in hand. So he whips. Uh, he lunges forward with a, a whip attack, followed, following up with a dagger. Now, the whip misses, because the guy just kind of like, kind of nods his head out of the way as he hears random footsteps behind him, not expecting anything. And as he turns around, he gets a, a full dagger in his gut. Damn. Or six... Eight damage. Hot damn, this poor guy. Out to you, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> You're causing chaos in the streets. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, <laughs> Vice Captain. <laughs> it, it, exactly. He's just like, Vice Captain, why? Oh, is this one of the guys up here? Yeah, it is. And that guy dashes out, and I'm taking him out of the order. Should uh, she be rolled for initiative now? Uh, she can. I just get that guy's out. Do I have to? Uh, you can if you if you want to join the initiative. You can. Is he still right here? Yeah, like mm -hmm. you're you're able to move around uh relatively freely. Yeah, because you're not participating in the fight, you're not in the initiative. You should get this. Oh, yeah. 
And we have, uh... Is it gonna be the... If he's still right here. Yeah, that's Woodrow. Yeah, but he, he's gonna run away. You should just get the bird guys. I'm gonna chase him. <laughs> okay, so Chibiu says in hot pursuit? Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll, have, I'll have, have you do that. Uh, we're going to have uh, some perception checks as you're kind of doing that. Does a 16... Oh, what was your stealth last time? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, we'll, roll, we'll roll a fresh stealth. Damn. Yeah. So as you kind of lunge from cover, dashing out into everything, you kind of sacrifice stealth for speed mm -hmm. and that enters you into the combat now we got Woodrow and he's taking the dash action to get the hell out of there and that goes like far beyond the map I have here so just So, are you intending to uh, follow him, like, outside of all of this? Uh... No, I guess not. Alright. Then I'll take him out of the turn order. I don't know where your lid is, Kirsty. Let me just delete that real quick. Alright. Next up is... Where is this guy? Yes, I know your yum yum saw. So why are you looking around in here for it? Because it was in here. Ah, this is... Okay, there. Now you have your lid. <laughs> oh, that's this guy right here. That's not... Or... Yeah. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Oh, mm, yeah. There we go. Okay, it's this guy. Now, seeing everything that's going on here, he's going to take a shot at the, the zoo captain. And that's a hit. For five damage. So he just, he just fucking shoots him. Whips out a gun. And... Damn, this guy's got a lot of health. Good wear down. Can't... <laughs> <laughs> That's his turn. <laughs> this guy, all battered and uh, horribly <laughs> injured from that fight, disengages and runs this way. He he's trying to get out of there. <laughs> I mean, I would too if I had one HP. And it's Tonga's turn. Uh, I assume you're maintaining the crown of madness? Yeah. I'll do one more round of the crown of madness. And I'll use my oh. action this time to... I'll use my movement to get up here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to have you make a climb check. Yeah. So just athletics or acrobatics, whichever is better. All right. So uh, what's your bonus? 13. Don't. Okay. Yeah. You, you climb up. It, it, it takes a, a moment because like you kind of lose a handhold uh, at one point, but you manage to get to the top. It's a one story building. Okay. So the, the blue I'm rooftops are uh, right next to it. That's a second mm -hmm. story. Gotcha. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I want to get up there, call out to the bird man and go, hey, where are you going? And then I'm going to kind of like mentally uh, have this guy turn his attention to this guy. And then that's going to be my action. <laughs> so it's just like, here's Johnny. Yep. I just okay, don't want he's trying to psych him out. And he's just kind of like, turns over to you, Starlet. Ah. No, something's not what right. 
and he, he looks like he's just had enough. And this guy gets up. And he moves out of the... Oh, wait, no, no. He's, he's no longer prone. He's just burning. <laughs> my bad. I mixed up my things. As well as where I put my D4. What is it, like a D6 of fire damage at the start no, of the a, It's a D4. There's my D4. Yeah, he takes three, three fire damage. Nice. Dies. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to spend his action trying to put out the put out the flames. He's going to put out the oil fire? How's he going to do that? He's just stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Get covered in more oil. Yeah, so he just like takes to the dirt of the streets. He's just kind of like sh screaming to himself. Ah! Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! And he's just like rolling around on the ground trying to put out the flames. And it does work. But that that's the entirety of his turn. So much action. <laughs> uh, this intense action. And again, here we are with fire damages. She takes two damage. And then she has to put the fire out. It is not... Oh, no, she fails. She, she's just kind of like... A, she moves out of the area... But, like, it's just kind of, like, padding around, trying to douse the flames, and is not doing a very good job of that. And as she's doing that, that, that that's her turn. She's, she failed to put out the flames. Snyder, you are up. All right. I... <clears throat> I'm going to finally join the fray on the main level and use a use my action to like wow my brain doesn't work today <laughs> <laughs> uh, to jump down and try and spear this dude he's charmed right now don't turn him yet oh you still have to drop uh, on basically everyone thanks to Featherfall. I'll try to spear this dude. Fuck it. All right. Roll for attack. And since you're jumping... Oh, oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. You know what? Because you're jumping from a building, no wonder it's a crit. You're taking all that extra momentum and body weight and throwing it into your spear. Out of war, like Eric. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stab right above him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. going to fucking come uh, bob this man. Oh, and you're going to add 12 to that. So, 22. Oh my god. How do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> you stab him straight at the top of the head and it goes all the way down to his fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't want to like really stumble off the roof and just float while plunging the spear just like Hoping I land. I, I, I could like, see it going one of two ways. Either face first going down, or like <laughs> you kind of like just jump off and hold it like a fireman's uh, pole, and then just kind of yeah, like right. you're riding the spear down as it lands. And then you I land like the on fireman pole. To soften your landing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you do that, you leap off. You, you're holding it fireman pole style, and as you kind of like fall onto the guy, uh, like spear point first, uh, you just hear a, a sickening crunch beneath your feet, uh, as and a, a spurt. As now your sh your shoes are covered in blood, and you kind of look down, you just see a mangled corpse of a man, uh, just uh, 
<laughs> at your feet. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> what the hell you about that? Yeah, this, is, this guy's done. <laughs> Holy shit! That was great. <laughs> you, is there anything else you want to do for your turn? Um. Fuck, what can I do? <laughs> You have movement and bonus actions because falling doesn't really take away from your movement. So you've moved like five feet. Yeah, you got any bonus actions? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Um. <laughs> sorry, I burped and it was not good. <laughs> I will say if you stick with the spear. At level four, <laughs> you might want to consider Polearm Master. That way, you get some bonus actions out of that. Nice. Wait, um, he's level four? You could I, bonus action for when a bomb. you hit level four. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I'm only three. <laughs> I did give you some bombs. <laughs> Do I have any? Um. Bomb at him. Yeah, I'm gonna whip one of my uh, the uh, the bottle of acid I have at somebody. Oh shit! <laughs> now that would be an action, unfortunately. Oh, but I, I like where uh, you're yeah. going with it. <laughs> just take it. And fucking... <laughs> I will, what if however, he just, like, uh, casually if you, dropped it. Uh, if you did want to, uh, you could easily dip something in your one of your weapons in your oh. acid. Might not hey, be the best oh, for the weapon, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, we can get you a new spear. <laughs> <laughs> one level in monk. Putting my sin real quick. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> one That one level in monk, you got a bonus action uh, offhand yeah. attack. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. That's what I was thinking. I forgot. I forgot. That's a... Um... <clears throat> I'm gonna move to this guy and attack him. <laughs> Sir, you are on fire! Let me help! You go for like the first liquid bottle you could grab, and it just happens to be a bottle of acid. <laughs> <laughs> so, this man ha has been rolling on the ground. He finally stops. He looks up. Uh, roll to attack with advantage. Oh god. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Knock his block off. <laughs> I half expect him to just kick him right in the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, bah. Oof. Oh. Okay, what's your uh What's that total? Oh, I, maybe, maybe. Uh, what wh what are your bonuses here? Um, what would it be under? Proficiency, so plus two. Yeah, so and I then... I think that actually hits. Th this dude's AC is t twelve. Yeah, so yeah, hit. that hits. <laughs> Roll for damage. What would that be? I think damage your monk damage. die at this point is a d4 plus dex. Plus my dex. I'm just up on the seat on the roof being like, oh shit. Damn. You pop it off. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, damn, th this doctor's got it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's like what five damage? Yeah, punch his lights out. <laughs> yeah, so you just like straight up kick this man. <laughs> kick him while he's down. And it's just like <clears throat> that one scene, and he just kind of like rolls over again. 
It's like, where did you come from? The sky, bitch! The sky! <laughs> <laughs> And this guy, seeing you rain down from the sky. I am an angel sent from above. <laughs> if he runs past her, does all of them in the same spot? Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, come on. Seriously? He crit. No! Okay, also, so... Also, stand there, you're standing in the fire. That You take 10 damage. Ooh. As he takes his sword and just lashes out at you. <laughs> Thankfully, you've widely avoided damage so far, so not Wide. not the worst thing. Yeah, I stay on fire for now. What? Um, I think you think you're doing good targeting the uh, the other. First maiden or whatever. Yeah, the snyder's my way though. And you know what? It is Akisu's turn, so she can clean up. She can clean house here. I would... Yeah, but see, I was gonna do my shrapnel vials next, and now Snyder will get hit if I do that. <laughs> right here. That depends on your placement. The shrapnel vials have a ten foot radius. Now you can hit both of the. These oh, guys. okay. I thought it was longer than that. Also, you could move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like at this point, <laughs> shrapnel <laughs> star. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll, talk, I'll say to Big Joe, like, go get him, Big Joe. And then, yeah. and then I'll move. Is it, how? Long, what's my movement range? Thirty. It should be about forty. Oh yeah, it's forty. Oh yeah, it is forty. So, go oh. Him, go, go. I'll go here. That's thirty feet. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, there is this little guy down here in the corner. Is just it guy. really? Yeah. Oh my God. I did not see him. Oh. If I could land on top of him. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you could see what damage it does. Would that count as an action? Uh, the uh, shrapnel or the... no? No, like, if I just, like, jumped down on top of him. <laughs> you know what? Uh, no. I'm not going to count that as an action. But since you're yeah. using it in such a way... If you make an attack, it will. Like, I think if you're you're just jumping... We'll call it a bonus action. How's that sound? Jumping with the intent of murder. Yeah, that's fine because yeah. I've already got my hunter's mark on. Um, yeah, you're you're jumping there. with the intent of murder. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just go right here. <laughs> Ooh, Baldur's Gate rules. Fuck it. <laughs> and dude is at one HP. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be a bio I'll give you get him. Get to die. A... You get okay. to die every man's dream. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm gonna give him a deck save for this one. He he gets a 21. So Dang. you land oh there, right there, and he he just dives out of the way, <laughs> and he looks up at you and he's terrified. <laughs> but he lays on the ground. He's just like uh, just terrified, like uh, giant women. Uh. <laughs> Like he's this man is just out of it. He he's running for his life. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have killed him. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Just squashing little Listen, men with your big ass. I have poison shrapnel vials. Will that work as the same as the shrapnel? Where like if I hit her, it would hit this guy, and they would both be poisoned. Uh, that depends on if they make the con save. Okay, I'm gonna do it. But if they if they fail, then they'll both be poisoned, right? Yes, yep. and the poison okay. condition uh, gives them disadvantage on like all their checks. Mm -hmm. Don't they also take poison damage at the start, or no? Mm, no. Uh, although that can depend on the poison. True. So more advanced poisons would cause damage. 
But hey, disadvantage on uh, basically Just everything's a pretty good. Neurotox. Yeah, like you, you can even get uh, stuff for stunning people, you know. Yeah. All right. Anyway, poison shrapnel vial to her. Okay, so thanks to your sheer height, you'll be able to hit this shot. So let, okay. let's see what you got. Okay. Right. Normal, right? Okay. Damn. Oh yeah. That, okay, so nah. you shoot it right between them, and it explodes. Now they're both gonna get a deck save because it is a thing. So, Nott is surprisingly dexterous. Oh, wait, no, she would yeah. have disadvantage because she's still on fire. <laughs> so, yeah, that, they're both hit. Nice. I, I had so, to remember that she was still kind of dealing with being <laughs> lit up. I don't know. So that's going to be... Two plus. damage, and then con saves. Uh, Hold on, I'm not done with my damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Plus. Hold on. I'm oh, oh. not done. Not done. Oh, oh. There's more. But wait, there's more. Uh, 11 damage. Hot damn. So, <laughs> homeboy here who hasn't taken a single hit the entire fight, it takes a heavy hit right now, and is poisoned. Oh yeah, do I need to roll for poison damage? Uh, no. I I've already rolled for the okay. their con saves. Now, she succeeds on her con save, but the, the damage is pretty heavy. Yeah. So she's not poisoned, but he is? Yes. Yep. Okay. She is still burning. <laughs> she is still burning. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. Getting oh, when does Big fire. Joe move? Oh, at the end of your turn, I think. Oh, oh okay, so Big Joe now has to attack. Um... I think I just didn't put him in okay. the initiative, but oh. we'll, we'll have him... Let's see. That's gonna be a dash action to get over here. So he can't attack is yet. It, what does but... he got? Forty walk. Yeah. Yeah. Forty walk. Okay. So his dash gets him over there, and he's with Snyder. And since he's got Protect pack him, tactics, Snyder. yeah. Since he's got pack tactics, that'll help later. Oh, how do you like that? <laughs> that rolled him right yeah. next to you in the initiative. Uh -huh. Alright, so this guy uh, dashes out. We're taking him out of the turn order. Mm -hmm. Forget this guy's dead. <laughs> and... Excuse me, where, where is oh, bird? Okay, that's the bird guy. That's the bird guy, okay. Uh, he's far enough away from uh, Tonga to be like, he takes, he surveys the, he flies up a little bit to survey the battlefield, and he, he sees that, damn, this, this fight is lost. Get back down here, you damn bird. And he bails. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm not done with you, bitch. Okay, let's see. As far as Tonga's concerned, in distance. Okay, so our guy right here is like, if you wanted to get one last shot on him on your turn, you could I don't have any possibly. Range. My best shot would be like a witch bull with my action. Yeah. But that's that's his turn. He he's getting the fuck out of there. He's flying off into the sky. And into hell yeah. Maybe Chibi can. Snyder, don't off. slip on that oil. All right. So as the fight rages on, 
with our two captains here. He, uh, Captain Vex, dashes, makes his way to an alley, and he starts using his tie abilities to create a trap. That's all kind of out of your uh, line of sight, so y'all don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, Snyder would see him disappear into an alley. Yeah, he disappears into that alley. And then... Chibi. What do? Um... You maybe think you can snipe down the bird again? I don't know, can I? Is it... Yeah. You absolutely can. can. It, it's like without chasing him down, you could probably get to the roof and just shoot him. You have a climb speed to get to the top of the roof reasonably. So, yeah, you're within range. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try to shoot him. All right, here we go. Shoot him with that bliggy. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. Don't forget your sneak it. Okay. Now, for sneak attack, you would have to have a. Uh... Oh wait, yeah, you you can get sneak attack by using your bonus action to steady your aim. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. How do... You can just click the attack. Because, like, uh, the little thing on the side gives you that option to just click attack and damage for the short bow. In the, in the chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, would it be advantage? Yes. With the... Okay. okay. 19. Yeah, that hits. Uh, roll for damage. And then plus the... D6 for sneak attack. Okay, so then I roll a D6. Yep. Oh, that rolled two. Okay, so... <laughs> so... So 12 so total. 12, yeah. If very, very close. Oh. You, you clip his wing, and as you do, you see him just kind of crash into a building. Okay. Taking another one point of damage... <laughs> this this guy's so on the brink. Only. And that's your turn. You could reasonably finish him. But back to Captain Zoo here. He makes his way over to the alleyway where you guys can't see. And... Here we go. Alright. So he makes an attack. Do do damages. Deck save. Fuck. You guys hear a another guttural scream from him. Not like the roars you've heard earlier. Oh boy. But also on his turn. Y'all, uh, make some perception checks. All of us? Yes. Okay. All right. That's cool. I like how that uh, die kicked the other die away. That was cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen uh, that happen in a VTT. That's so neat. Anyway. This makes sense that I rolled so low because I can't see shit from this perspective. <laughs> yeah. I love how things like that work out. Uh, for all of you that have rolled above a 15, you do hear, like, kind of footsteps in the distance just kind of approaching. 
Wait, I rolled a 15. Does that do I heat? Do I see it? Yes, everyone who's rolled 15 okay. and above. Okay. What do we see? Sorry. Uh, you hear footsteps in the distance. I do my soundboard, but unfortunately, it's being steppered. Oh, okay. Be careful down there, Micah. <laughs> Got a lot of guys coming up on you. Oh, shit. What is this, a porno? It might be. Uh, I, I've seen this movie. <laughs> I've seen this once before. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> what a sound! Yeah, so you 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 have, you have reason to believe that there's probably some more uh, uh, zoo pirates kind of approaching. And then let's see. Little did we know Tonga, the the tight. guy that you uh, took control of, is still mm. under your power. Good. I would like for him this monster can before I get high. I'm gonna have him like is it his turn? Uh I'm not sure. They all look the same. I mean no no yeah, it, it, it is his order. so you can uh Yeah, you control this guy, so what's he doing? When he's he's on the ground dying. I want him to run up and attack him. All right, so he he runs up, and he's gonna make an attack. That hits. And damages. For four damage. Can I also? I want him to end his turn here. Oh, he's in the fire. <laughs> Where do you want to end his turn? Right here, so he's in the fire. Hmm. <laughs> while while you are controlling him, he won't willingly put himself directly in uh oh, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Is that uh that's his turn? Yep. And then cool. moving on. It's you're dead. You don't get a turn. Uh. This guy dashes away. He's out. Remove him from turn order. The one that almost got sat on. And it's, <laughs> Damn. And it's Tonga's turn. Alright. At this point, I'm going to end the Crown of Madness. So I'm no longer concentrating. Well, he's already done enough damage that, <laughs> that I don't know how much he can repair that situation. Yeah. So I'm going to concentrating. Take off my hidden, and I am going to So you're gonna to return to this area of the fight. Yes. I'm gonna get here thirty feet. Um and then I think all right, so you kind of leap, leap down from uh, the building. Uh, make a acrobatics check. That's fair. Can it be athletics? Oh uh, yeah, athletics or acrobatics, either way. All right, so you're gonna take a uh, leaping down. My ankles. You take two damage. All right, two temporary. That's cool. Um, all right, so I'm gonna leap down. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you have a plan. <laughs> you see me doing the ruler. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, I, I see you with that ruler there. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down and I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt. Okay, so Witch Bolt is a concentration on a single target. And this would be your second spell slot. Yep. Wait a minute. Blue I... beam lances out toward a creature. It's not concentration. Mm. Oh, you can use your action to do one d12, two of them automatically, like a tether. Hmm. Just 
Let's see here. Um, you've been keeping track of... Oh, your spell save DC is fixed now. Neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fixed it. And I'm keeping track I don't of know it. how you fixed it, but it, you fixed it. Um, your yeah. spell slots, though. I have one left. After okay. I was wondering about I that before. Okay. Actually, wait, no. This this will be my last one because I had. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt on this guy. And you can choose to maintain concentration on it, yeah. much in the same way as you did with the Crown of Madness. Right. So I want to hit. That's a hit. I love that. That definitely hits. It's 1d12. So now that you're done with them, you're just like, okay, time to amp up the voltage. I send them in. <laughs> you watch as I leap down. There's just a like blue bolt. <laughs> Shoots yeah. down towards me. You're kind of like channeling your uh, your inner Electro uh, from your ancestors. He's blasted by bioluminescent light, taking 10 thunder damage, or 10 lightning damage. Yes, 10 lightning damage from Tonga's uh, great-grandfather, who <laughs> was part electric eel. This technique has been passed down by generation. <laughs> Through the Weirio family line for ten generations. <laughs> I love it. Alright, that's my turn. And this guy is looking pretty beat up. You just see him just kinda like just kinda He fucking gives a mind control and then immediately blast him. <laughs> yeah. This guy it, right next to Snyder is he he's, he just saw Snyder butcher his friend, kick him in the teeth, and he's just like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not doing this no more. Uh, Snyder, I give up this life of crime. Uh, let's see, Snyder, what's your AC? It is a 15. Oh yeah, that does not hit. He had advantage in everything. No monologuing for you. So he takes his sword and he just kind of like lunges forward at at you, and you just kind of like parry it with your spear. Kind of like look to him, like almost as if uh, it, it, it's almost like training with uh, some of the soldiers back in your time in Skypea. A burned and tortured child, missing many teeth. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where He's that... been lit on fire. He's been kicked in the face. And you said it was like training with someone back in. Like, like you know, training with the child. <laughs> carry his blow like a bitch. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you said kid. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, where did the kid come from? <laughs> <laughs> Snyder's history of uh, child abuse runs deep. <laughs> I wasn't the child being abused. I was the child abuser. <laughs> As a child. With skilled child abuse techniques passed down through the Snyder family line for ten generations. <laughs> Shiana, did you eat all your goo? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm eating my goo. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm eating my goo, too. Okay, Snyder, just to just to confirm, you had the guy that you controlled attack uh not, right? Yes. All right. She has had enough of this shit. She whips around and as she does, she just launches into a flurry on him. This is the um, This is probably the most action she's seen all combat. Cause she's pissed. Yeah, right. Cause he's been, the he's bug been up. getting shit on. Ooh, that's a Who's she attacking? She's attacking uh, the, the, the dude that just attacked her. Oh, okay. The guy in mind control. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and he fails his deck save. So she whips her braid around and trips him up, knocking him prone and dealing two damage there. And then she goes in for hot damn. She just straight ends him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he, he's done. Just knocks him to the ground. And got, and got used and abused. <laughs> and she just kind of like... She cracks her back. <laughs> Still kind of on fire. Takes a single point of fire damage. But like, she just spits on him. Just like... <laughs> Traitor! And kind of like wipes some blood from her face. Oh, and then she uh, locks eyes with S Snyder. Oh no. <laughs> no, no. Okay, Snyder, you got. You got I'm coming, um, Tonka. I'm coming. You got Big Joe with you. I got Big Joe with me. You got Big Joe. <laughs> Big Joe's the boy. And you know uh, who. You know what? It's uh, Snyder's turn. Yeah. All right. Let's. Snyder's yeah. done pretty well. He's only taken like ten damage. This guy in front of you is going next. All right. You know what? Yeah. It that looks to be the case. I shall. Can you delete this guy? Mm. Oh, yeah. The, the I'm just kind of leaving the body there. Okay. okay. I shall use my spear. <clears throat> Isn't there like a mark that marks up as dead? You know what? There probably is. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Like, I could Uh, Orion, if you click on their token and then you can look at the top. Yeah, there Where we the go. Little thing comes out. There. Now he's dead. It's a condition. <laughs> it's a condition. <laughs> the dead condition. I diagnose you with dead. <laughs> well, the doctor can't be wrong. It's um, true. I shall use my spear to poke this guy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for face. I, think, I can see him like actually saying that out loud. Jab in the face. You are gonna get stabbed. <laughs> I shall poke you, sir. That hits. <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> Roll for facial damage. <laughs> Plus your uh... your decks and your proficiency. I, I don't... Spear's not a uh, finesse What's weapon, that? so it'd be plus strength. Oh. Oh, so that would be... Yeah, it would be a zero. Oh, so just one. I don't have a modifier. Plus proficiency, so two? No, oh, no, so you don't, yeah, you don't add three. proficiency to damage. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, I'm super. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, spear is a versatile weapon, so that's a D8, not a D6. You have two hands. Ah, oh, yes. So, do that. That is a little better. Six damage. And you still have your bonus action. <clears throat> and I shall use that for my offhand attack. Or, wait, no. Since I use a two hand, I wouldn't have... That's well, just it, my it's thinking. not an offhand. It's just a... Your martial arts uh, unarmed attack can be like a f kick or whatever, or an elbow. Mm -hmm. A toe? Yeah, like you can a toe. In melee. A toe. Like you can dip a toe in his eye socket. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, uh. Dip toe in that acid. After poking him in the face, I use my, uh, bonus unarmed attack to, like, try and elbow this guy in the head. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Roll the hit. No! Fuck! 
<laughs> it was almost a 15. Almost a 15. Okay, so uh, what's your total to hit? Nine. Ooh, yeah, that misses. You you go you go for the elbow and like he just kind of like steps back and like it just brushes right past his face. And Damn it! He takes up a bit of a stance. And then moving forward into combat order, it's uh, the, the guy with the new face scar. <coughs> and hey, my pretty, pretty face. Unfortunately for you, you are cornered. But he also sees that there's a goddamn dog up in here. Not the dog, not Big Joe. What's the dog doing? What's the dog doing? <laughs> and he he lashes out at. Snyder, because, like, he, he don't know if the dog is doing anything, but, like, the dog's just kind of there. It hasn't made any hostile actions to him yet. Oh, it will. Oh, it will, it will. for sure. Uh, Snyder, uh, you're going to take... <laughs> damages. Yeah, you take seven damage. I'm at twelve. It's a shame they have pack tactics because, like, you you could have avoided it otherwise. Yeah. But it's Akisu's doesn't, turn. Doesn't Big oh, Joe get hey. pack tactics as Snyder? Yes, okay. Big Joe does get pack tactics as well. So shouldn't Snyder's offhand attack have had advantage? No, no. Uh, Big Joe has pack tactics. Uh, he doesn't give pack tactics. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because he's a dog. Right. You need like pack a leader for that or something. Yeah, yeah, that that'd be a different thing. All right, Akisu. What are the captain's gonna... orders? The captain's orders is I'm gonna shoot shrapnel at this bitch's face. <laughs> <laughs> that is her. Been yes. shot times and her. <laughs> I'll let her get in the melee. <laughs> 14 to hit. Alright, that hits. Nice. I feel like she might cut Ooh, you. Big damage, eight, big damage. 8 plus 4 plus 3. Oh, yeah, because you, you had the hunter's mark. Well, 15. Yep. 15. 15 damage. Ooh, and she then, is and looking pretty rough. No, so it hits this guy, right? Yes, I'm gonna have him make this, a, this guy's dead. I'm gonna have him make a deck save. He succeeds, so he'll take half damage. For he takes two damage. <laughs> He's just got little cuts on his cheek from it. <laughs> really marking up his face. He, <laughs> he's not looking too good either. Is that all for your turn? I'm gonna move here. <laughs> you just kind of like use a, th that part of the building with a little bit of a jump as like a step. Yeah. All right. And then Big Joe is not happy that this dude is attacking Snyder here. Yeah. Get him, Joe. Get him. Get him. Get him, Joe. Get him. That hits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good job, Big Joe. Yeah. And I gotta click on Big Joe and see what the what the attack is doing. Can you get him? Can you get him? Okay, so have like a that's gonna be a D6. Like a aura. For six damage. Damn, it means like guy. he has some kind of like cold aura or something. He does because now that he's attacked this guy, his movement speed's cut in half. Oh shit! He's not dead yet. Uh, he's know, right? pretty damn close, and he he's not going to be going very far. Yeah, this guy's not looking good.
And that is Big Joe's turn. That guy is... Oh, right. Bird dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets... He crashed. Bird yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He kind of gets back up. And... He, he he moves away, but not at a dash at, but not at a dash speed, just like standard. So I'll have him move thirty feet. All right. As uh, things are going down on the between the captains, y'all just kind of hear a uh, a scraping oh. and a dragging sound. As Captain oh. Vex comes out. Oh shit. <laughs> and you just see like a a walking Thai uh mannequin uh om the type thing with the zoo captain hanging from it. Damn, we got him all tied um... up. <laughs> all tied up. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Vex isn't looking uh, too he has kind of like a he looks rough he's bleeding but he also like has a determined expression on his face and he he looks out to his crew Captain Zoo is dead oh, all the rest of you better fall in line and he's kind of taken aback at kind of surveying the 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 scene here, not really seeing any of the zoo pirates left, but just seeing you guys. What's going on here? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Does, does he see me? Uh, you know what? He can probably. Only yes. See... A twenty to perception. Right. Yes. Alright. <laughs> so <laughs> he's just kind of moved out here and he unleashes like a Thai barrage. <laughs> um oh god. Let's see. Snyder and uh Well, it, it really is just uh, Snyder and Akisu. Damn, yeah, he, he, he's got good range. That's how he's kind of gotten around all of this. So I want each of you to... Uh, what's your AC? I have a 15. Okay. So he... Misses both of you, but you, you nice. each uh, just kind of dodge out of the way as you hear the a whirling, whistling uh, sound uh, buzz through the air right by your heads. And you just see, like, some bow ties flying by. Oh, shit, you got bow tie shurikens. <laughs> bow tie shurikens. Uh, th this man's got it all. And he looks over to his men. Men, fall back! All two of you. <laughs> yeah, all. <laughs> Man, fall back. Okay, uh, back to Chibi in her hunting pursuit of the bird man. I'm gonna get him. Hell yeah. He's only moved like 30 feet, so it, if you move a bit, you're, you're right within range. We can collect his shit after. <laughs> All the way off the map. <laughs> All right, Chibi. Okay. So. The Chibi got the solo kills. How do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, I just want to run on all fours to him and then just get up and. And just shoot him down. You just leap right up into the air, just real cinematic Legolas, uh, cinematic Legolas style, and you just loose an arrow, and 
it takes him out straight through the heart. And he collapses to the oh. rooftop below. Oh, dude. I yeah. like how, like, none of us have seen you in what is probably, like, ten minutes. <laughs> We're just like, oh, I hope Chibi's okay. <laughs> Chibi just <laughs> catching bodies. That's <laughs> what I do. We got faith in you. In, in yeah. fact, I'm fairly yeah. certain that she's caught body. more bodies than everybody I'm... else combined. Yeah. <laughs> I catch the stragglers. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put the dead on him. I'm gonna put the dead on him. All we gotta do is kill this guy, and then we got we got both. <laughs> okay, this guy heeds captain's orders and falls back. That's the guy Snyder killed. Oh, oh, you're right. You're, you're, he's dead. I should have marked him as dead. But now I know how to mark dead. <laughs> Plus dead. <laughs> Plus dead. <laughs> it's Tonga's turn. You guys have come a long way in this fight. <laughs> Right, yeah, I'm running, running all the way in here, making my attack on not. You still got some of those um, gunwood, gunwood, gun what the fuck, gunpowder vials that I gave you. Mm -hmm. Still got gunwood. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, the gun trees of the North Blue. You don't think guns just grow on trees, do you? <laughs> on gu on Sniper Island, they do. This is not a advantage <laughs> situation, right? What? what? Do I have advantage on this hit? Or no? Mm, no. Okay. You didn't need it, though. <laughs> 18. <laughs> and I would also like to make a, my offhand attack, too. So. All right, all right. You got the dual wielding. Nice. Love that. Okay, roll for damages, depending on how this goes. Okay, so six. And five. And eight. Okay. That's eleven but damage. Eleven. She is barely standing. That's fourteen. Yeah. She is barely standing. If I run in, pull my two kopesh out. Why just, won't you fall? I just kind of picture like you going for like the X slash. Yeah. Fucking anime style, and like she falls to a knee. That is my turn. This guy disengages. Falling back to his captain. Not will also disengage. And by this point, the fire's just died down. But there's still, but there's still oil, right? No, no, it's, it's burned up by this um. point. Um, she's still kind of on fire. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll give Does, her a deck uh, save for that. Does Snyder have to, have to make opportunity okay. attack for her running past him? Like, okay. Shit. She, she is like down to one now. She finally gets <clears> the <throat> fire out with that last save. Hey, hey, Orion. Does Snyder get to make an opportunity attack? No, she disengaged. Ooh. Yeah. Disengage be like that. But it is Snyder's turn. Kill her! <laughs> Kill her! <laughs> Snyder, you see Kill this thick, uh, long-haired uh, lady oh, who's roughed up, bleeding out, and burned. <laughs> A retreat to the safety <laughs> of her captain. <laughs> what do you do? Let that bitch down. Let get away with the bounty. Down. Oh shit. Catching bodies today. I, qu I swiftly turn around and take aim with my flintlock pistol. 
Oh shit, I forgot you had that. Pull out the blicky. That hits. Damn, Tyrone, pull out the nine. <laughs> <laughs> this is how pirates do. Oh wait, I will. I will say, uh, you do have disadvantage because you have a uh, homeboy right next to you. Oh, I can reroll that. Watch it be a one. I said. <laughs> well, let's see. An eleven. Yeah, we'll we'll Ooh. take the eleven because you already rolled the first one. Then plus four, so fifteen. That. Ooh, I have to look. At her thing real quick. Come on, where is he? If he misses her, do you still hit one of the people behind? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Given the cluster, I'd allow it. Okay, so it is a miss. Very narrow, but <laughs> given where she's standing, you hit this dude, who you've been roughing <laughs> up this entire time. <laughs> uh, give me a d6 of damage. <laughs> Yeah, this poor guy is just like, oh, damn. He's not dead, but he's worse than he was before. He's like, Captain, get down, Mr. President. Get down, <laughs> Captain. They're too strong. He's taking our bounty. No. <laughs> yeah, th this guy, he takes the a bullet to the shoulder. He's like, ah, ah. Captain, we have to retreat. They're too strong. The zoo have fled. They what? They just left their captain? Hey, he's he's not exactly in Captain Vex is not impressed. Me neither. None of, none of us are always, they fucking <laughs> <did> immediately. <laughs> this, this dude also disengages. What? And he falls back. Goddamn rogues. <laughs> nah, disengage is a normal action. Is it really? Yeah, anybody can disengage. It just takes your action. Rogues, and once you get to like second level, can disengage as a bonus action. Oh, right. You probably uh, don't ever think about it because nobody ever uses the disengage action. That's so true. Much the same as no one ever uses the dodge action either. True. In, in case anybody wants to know, the dodge action basically mm -hmm. adds a plus five to your AC when uh, moving around. So, like, yeah, say you, you didn't have anything that you could do on your turn, just take the dodge action, and it's basically the same as shield. True. Yeah, you get, like, a plus to your AC. Yeah, you get plus five to your AC. Plus five. <laughs> either that or I'm misremembering it. It's either you have disadvantage or you get a plus five. Either way, mathematically, it works out to be a plus five. Yeah. About. Adding disadvantage is just as good. Mathematically, it works out the same regardless. I could be wrong. If someone can let me know in the comments, I don't care. I'll run my game how I do. I'm willing to admit my... Oh, whoa, Aki Su and Big stroke. Joe next. Okay? It's Aki Su, then Big Joe. Look at this amazing cluster that there is. I know. I'm trying to decide if I want to do shrapnel or oil. Do the shrapnel. Oh, well, then they might slip. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I, I could do like the gunpowder afterwards, oh. or you could throw those gunpowder bombs on them. I feel like if you just shoot them, like, these three are just going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they Even really are just, at that point. Of, do the they'll, they'll, they'll die. <laughs> See, the, the problem is, I have Hunter's Mark on her. Yeah. And she's in the back. But it's it's a ten foot AOE with the shrapnel, so it hit all of them. Pretty yeah. You guys definitely prepared want... uh, for this fight with all the uh, shrapnel and all these other uh, special ammo that you've made. Yeah. I have other special ammo. As long as you're keeping track of your special ammo. I am. Awesome. I don't have any more of the poison shrapnel. Any, any ones. AOE is good. 
I do have red acid vials. Oh yeah, the, that's from the red algae. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I could do that. But is that gonna spray like the shrapnel would, or yeah. is it just gonna hit one person? It creates a ten foot. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Acid, I believe it causes disadvantage. Acid's like one. Well, actually, can I move my hunter's mark to the captain? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not too familiar with that. Because I did that earlier. Yeah, I think it's a bonus. Because I had it on the captain originally, and then I changed it to her. Yeah, I think it's a bonus action to move it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah it's a bonus action. So I'll move my hunter's mark to the captain, and then I will load up my red acid vial. I would do the. I take a shot. Yeah, even if I was wrong on I mean, it, whatever, we've already done it for combat already. So. Kind of committed at this point. Do I have? Is it normal or is it disadvantage? Uh, it's gonna he, be normal. He didn't disen. Yeah, he didn't disengage us. They, the rest of them did. Disengage just means that you don't get attacks of opportunity. Oh, okay. Yeah, when they were My bad. Thirteen, 13 to hit. Okay, so. It doesn't hit any of them directly, but they all get splash damage from the shrapnel. Okay. What do I roll for damage on that? A d6? Yes. Okay, so... You kill the guy in front. He's out. The rest of them manage their saves. Damn. Damn. But seeing as it's half damage, what'd you roll for damage? Why is it half damage? Because they need to save. Okay, so that comes down oh. to two. Yeah, so you also kill not. Oh, shit. <laughs> I will say as a DM, I'm disappointed because I really liked her art. <laughs> the art is cool. I wanted to do some cool shit with her, but that's okay. This guy. Does the captain also take two damage? Yes. Okay. It is big toast. Everyone who saved takes two damage. So it's just the captain and the guy in the back? Yeah. The, the guy in the back is looking pretty bad. And now it's Big Joe. Big Joe. Before, Before I, end I end my turn, uh. Yeah. Is this that, that guy's dead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really I don't want to make him too. run in. Ah, to slow him down. No, no, no. Yeah. It's okay. We're right here. We're backing him up. Huh? Huh? Is it, uh... Send him in. I don't. I don't know. Cause so it is the captain next. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh... Oh. It's up to you. You're commanding him. <laughs> I, I definitely see how it can be a tough call. I'll tell him to assist uh, you and Snyder. Okay, so he'll take the he help action. Yeah. yeah. So he'll hold his action to take to give advantage as soon as one of you does something. Yeah. Which will probably result in him just kind of charging in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah probably. Like, but but less danger than the alternative. Yeah, yeah he's not going to be, like, in front of the captain when it's his turn. Yeah. Exactly. Good call. Good call. All right. To Captain Vex. Actually, I got to mark uh, our bird man is dead. Harvey Birdman, man, attorney We're dead. Catching bodies. Honestly. Kill him, that man. Kill him dead. There's like at least ten dead people in this square. <laughs> he looks down to uh, his his men and first and uh, his vice captain dead in front of him. His vice uh, his first mate dead. And you just kind of like see almost tears welling up in his eyes. He's yeah, like, yeah. You, you killed my people. 
He turns to the other one. Run. Your captain's got this. I'll make them pay. And then... Oh, I gotta look at what, some of the actions he's got here. Because he is not happy. My timbers have absolutely been shivered. <laughs> Since I have so much information on all these characters here, it could be a lot to go through. The fact that you could make it back is so funny. Honestly. <laughs> You're so fucking fast. <laughs> Let's see, where is he in here? Oh well. I'll just have to use this. You can fucking use your bonus action to dash, you'll already be in with an action ready. That's crazy. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to he looks at Snyder. Oh no. And just cuz he <laughs> happens to be I'm sorry Snyder, you just happen to be close. It's okay. I understand. Uh I as need you to I make like a it. uh what is it charisma saving throw? All right. Interesting. Charisma. I think that's what whole person is. Oh yeah. Uh, ten. Yeah, that's a fail. Oh. Okay. Person's not oh no, it's wisdom back. save. My bad. Oh, so add okay, your wisdom I'll probably, instead. I'll fucking probably win that. Hopefully, it's a plus five. Oh. Yes, yeah, okay. so you just add the plus five instead. Oh shit. All right, so Snyder, you, ties burst from the ground all around you, encasing themselves around you. And you just kind of like fight back and rip your way and take a step back. And he just kind of like uh, gives you a glaring look. And then proceeds to launch a, another bow tie attack. This time at the dog. The, the dog? dog? How, How is dare? He didn't even do anything to him. I mean, he did kill that guy. I mean, he literally <laughs> would have, like, it, seen me no. kill two of his men. Treat me like a criminal. I can't but he, he sees the dog just kind of, like, a, all raring up and ready to go. And fortunately, Big Joe ducks down and dodges the barrage oh, of... Uh, bow tie shuriken that just kind of wing right over his head. And he Why is he attacking me? He literally saw me kill two of his men. He doesn't really have a good angle on you. He really doesn't that's have hard. a good angle. And that's a that's a, essentially what it amounts to. Just the, the, the angle bad. Stars aren't in a line. Angle bad. <laughs> angle bad. He probably would like to if he could see you. <laughs> if he could, for sure. Yeah. I need to get this big bitch off my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you can just like cut him off now. Oof, great. Get that flank. All right. And next up is Chibi in the turn order. Yay! Hey, You shot down your prey. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> far away. It doesn't matter. You could, you could yeah, use your bonus action oh, to dash. Yeah. I need to do that. I think it would be... Yeah, it'd be like, you can dash action. Dash, dash yeah. action. Well, the cool thing is, as a rogue, she can double yeah, dash. Bonus yeah, there you so, go. But with, without doing that, just away. using your bonus action to dash, <laughs> you can use 80 feet. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd still have my action. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is 80 
Uh, I'm gonna attack him. Shit, she still has rage. Yeah, you do. Honestly, uh, Chibi is majorly the MVP here. <laughs> you be in a uh, hockey suit with the fucking lights. I'm fucking it up. You're having no bombs. You guys are going crazy. Honestly. I haven't really done anything. <laughs> this is a very strong crew. It's a 10 to hit. Yeah, that's a miss, unfortunately. And as you as you shoot the arrow through the air, got, like, just one of his ties just whips right up and wraps around the shaft and snaps it. All right, well, that's, all that's, that's all for your turn. Mm-hmm. Tonga. I am going to make my first attack on this guy. Oh, the, the one that's still alive? Attack. Yeah, I'm going to do an offhand attack on the captain. All right, make an attack. You gotta, you gotta press the button. There you go. Okay, so 24 for the first one, 25 for the second one. Those hit. Roll for damage. That's eight for the first one. It's seven for the second. All right. Wait. So 15. Does that mean Big Joe goes down with him? Oh yeah. To give him advantage. Nice. Yeah, so Big Joe comes on in right here. Nice. That guy's still alive. I'm gonna move that out of the way for you. <laughs> he just runs in and just fucking kicks her body aside. <laughs> Ain't no time for bodies. <laughs> All I'm, right. sure, I'm sure that pisses the captain off. <laughs> yes. I just fucking step on her head. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, my lady. <laughs> my lady. <laughs> Your shoe gets covered in oil. I'm like, Captain, Captain, Captain. You weren't gonna wait, as I last shot, I get both of them. You're just ending this man right in front of him. Yeah, so you're, you're killing his lackey here. Yeah. Yep. How do you want to do this? He only had five HP. So I run up, blades at my side. I make one running slash. There's the lackey. And then I, with a turn, stab out at the captain. And those were both high rolls. So uh, how much damage for the captain? That was like a seven. Uh, yeah, seven for the captain. All right. Hot damn. <laughs> As you do, like, this, the slash, like, you just catch nothing but tie. <laughs> you see, like, a slight trickle of blood underneath as the ties kind of weave themselves back together right where you slash. And he looks at you with, like, a death glare. I just gotta pulse my blue energy. It's like, oh, I'm gonna enjoy killing you. I'm gonna enjoy watching you try. Next up is Snyder. Oh boy. Let's get him. It's a 5v1 now. 4v1. I am going. 5v1. <laughs> <laughs> what are we all at for health? I don't think any of us have been damaged yet. I'm the only one that's gotten hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and you're the um, doctor. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cast 
cure wounds on myself. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, so, so I don't... You just kind of bust out the, the med kit and start uh, getting yourself all bandaged up. That was the impact. <laughs> He's going to do that in the middle of the courtyard? <laughs> He's got, <laughs> He's mean, got the syringes. I'm surrounded by bodies, so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm as safe as can be. Yeah. <laughs> I'd Making say so. <laughs> There's like six bodies at least in this area. <laughs> Four. Nine. It's really funny that Don't everyone... Don't you add something to that? It's like brute, um, and then you just like pop out a bandage. You're like, I gotta like take care of this. modifier? Okay. Oh, oh, it it, it was already factored in. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I am a 16. So Snyder kind of just starts bandaging himself up. Anything else you're going to do in your turn? Um. Do, 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 do. Just shoot him. So it's an action. Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Start eating the corpses. <laughs> this will replenish my life energy. It's a sky thing you wouldn't understand. I gain their strength. <laughs> um. We don't have any bonus actions. I mean, the only thing I have is like an attack. But I feel like now we're trying to corner him and bully him into submission. Well, it is or beat just the him. fuck out of him. It is just him. We could knock him unconscious. Nah, it was good. Yeah. yeah, the wanted poster just says dead or alive, so. Yeah, it's easier for him not to <laughs> it doesn't have to be either. But I want his devil fruit, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I mean, if, you true. Ki- if you kill him, you gonna uh, you're not going to be able to get it I right away. Wanna, yeah, that's why I want to catch him. Oh, you want to catch him so that you, what you can feed him to somebody? I wanna, I wanna experiment on him a little bit. Yeah, extract the <laughs> green blood. Because now the other guy is dead, so I, I want his blood. But like, you know, he's not as useful dead. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If he escapes because of you, I, swear. I at least will be going for non leave <laughs> Okay, that that's perfectly yeah. fine. That's in character. Like, um, given your understanding of how the green blood process works, no one else would under would understand those nuances as to why you want him alive. So, do they actually have green blood? It, it's like a weird genetic concoction. Does it look any different? Uh, like yeah, it's green. devil fruit users don't have green blood. Green blood is like a extracted from the DNA of devil fruits. Mm-hmm. It's like a scientific term for devil fruit DNA. Yeah. So the idea of like filtering the devil fruit green blood from their blood or something like that would be like theoretically how you would harvest the power Plasma. of Plasma. Yeah. At least that would be like Tonga's understanding of it. Yeah. Like. Tonga has an incomplete uh, understanding of it, but he's it's because he's kind of had to had take those research test. notes. Yeah. But now, he's like, possible test subject? Hey, yo. <laughs> I guess I'll finish my turn off by moving over and trying to, like, corner. I mean, he is? He's fenced in by... Well, I can move the body. Through. Yeah. I mean, you can move yeah. all of them. There. <laughs> so, like, the only way he gets out of there with without uh, <laughs> taking attacks of opportunity is to disengage. Yeah. Yeah. Does this skull mean dead, right? Yeah. 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 And then I'll end my turn there. Okay, cool, Uh, cool. Then back to combat tracker. Is Akisu! That's me! That's the captain. She just move up on the roof, staring down. (laughs) Yeah. What the fuck you gonna do? Where you gonna go, big dog? (laughs) Where you gonna go, big dog? Dive up. (laughs) 
<laughs> well, he, he definitely got the high ground. I mean, First and you are like you a, a, a perfect like a captain you. speech. <laughs> a captain speech? Yeah, it'd be like, I'm the real captain. Look at this situation I've manipulated. <laughs> Bad, um, As mean. if everything is going to according to her plan. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Gross. I'm gonna look down on him and say, "You think you got what it takes to defeat us? We took down your whole crew." Let me introduce myself. My name is Kizu Blackburn, captain of the Blackburn Pirates. Mm. We will be we will be taking your head today. Hmm. It seems that blade, this entire thing was your doing. Yes. Yeah, just yeah, tell him our plan. So if we, he's, <laughs> he's not getting away. He's he's, he's villain speech. Villain speech. <laughs> <laughs> Let me monologue. <laughs> I've been waiting thirty That's years. Social for security this. numbers. Yeah, big <laughs> closing in on him. <laughs> Back him up into the wall. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's right. All of this is my doing. Hmm. What's gonna do about it? Oh, boy. Well, seems my back's to the wall. Figuratively and literally. My options are kill all of you and surrender. And I take it surrender's not an option with you. It might be. I mean... I kind of look at him and as he says surrender, I kind of... Something like that. I kind of give him like a, a, bit with a sharp tooth to like... grin. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, you've killed my finest people. And I just can't take that lying down. But you're standing. <laughs> <laughs> he puts you on the ground. That's an option. <laughs> In fact, you're hanging. <laughs> Five feet. He, he's not hanging anymore, but when you're done, he could be. So, <laughs> soon as it's your turn, what you're gonna do? Also, Akisu, I'll give you a uh, pirate prestige for the for, for your little villain speech there. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very captain like. Thank you. So, so if you won't surrender, then I guess we'll just have to kill you, and then I'll just take a shot with my slingshot. All right, take uh, do... advantage because <laughs> he's surrounded. Yes. I'll, I'll do. I don't have any more special things. I'll just do a regular bullet. All right. Holy. 20. Does 20 hit? Yes. Dirty 20 hits. <laughs> or... there we go. So 4 plus 3 plus 3. 10 damage. Ooh. Yep. I'm going to aim for the head. As you do, you, you see like a just like it, it you got streaks of blood flowing down his face. It, it clearly hit its mark. And then moving onward, we are going to. I'll tell have... uh, Big Joe to bite him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All I can Big think Joe. of, he's like mid speech, and as the the rock it lodges in his head, he starts to slur. <laughs> Let's see here. I was looking for the thing. Where it go? The thing. 
Alright, well, what if oh, we wow. feed the lion Akisu guy? Akisu has we... four pirate prestige at this point. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, because I, I just added it so I didn't forget. Oh, I already added the one you just gave me. Oh, in that case, so knock it knocked have... it down to three. But, but still, okay. that, that's pretty good. I don't know what to do with them. That's why I haven't used them. <laughs> <laughs> you can... Well, one of the things you can do is use them for recruitment. Oh, oh true. Okay. Because you captain... Recruit, you <laughs> Listen! I have recruited that cool lady. Then, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> She would not have joined us. There's no way. Yeah. Unless she <laughs> killed the captain our, our, first, probably Maybe if not. she was yeah. last, yeah. <laughs> Snyder, go heal her. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the body. Bring back from the dead. <laughs> She's like that one All right. the So, <laughs> we got Big Joe. Big Joe. We got Big Joe. And do you want Big Joe? Are you telling Big Joe to attack? Yeah, I'm telling him to bite him in the ass. Crit. Oh, <laughs> nice. Critical bites. Bro. He bites him in the dick. <laughs> rips it off. Oh, oh shit. We're busy to go. That's 10 damage. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, no, that's 12 damage. For a dog, dick. that's that's something. That's pretty good. He saw an opportunity. He did. And then... He is behind him, so. Oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh no! What's he gonna do? <laughs> the boy is hemmed in. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to. I'm gonna have uh, the three of you make deck saves. Oh god. Oh boy! It was all of us. <laughs> I got a fifteen. Well, actually, you're the only one that doesn't have to worry about it because you're a buff. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I, I was have including uh, Big Joe. Oh. oh. And here uh, we go. And that's a eleven damage to. Everyone who failed. Who it looks failed. like you, you guys succeeded. Big Joe did not. Aww. Oh, Big Joe! Oh. Big Joe is at half health. How much health does he have? Oh, 22? Okay. <laughs> so we take half? Yes. Which will half be five. Big Joe's like, oh. what do you do? That's my he just like out. send all of his ties out to attack. Yeah, me. just like it's a straight barrage of like bladed ties that just burst forth from his chest. Nice. Can you give Big Joe tempo? With mm -hmm. your, oh, nice. Yeah, you just have to eat the treat. Yeah, we just yeah. haven't gotten there. Yet. You just gotta eat yeah, the I can food. make dog treats. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Also, guys, I have an idea. After we kill this guy. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I'm plotting over. I'm plotting over. <laughs> and let's see. Why don't you just like get his blood now while he's alive? Well, after we after we knock him unconscious, then we can just like you know tie him up. I don't know what you're talking about because I'm about to kill him. No, yeah. don't. <laughs> How he he kind of just whips out the uh, tie sword and like one of his ties stiffen, and he strikes out at Tonga. Okay. For a crit. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Oh god. Hold on, hold on. For what total? No, wait, like that's a... He got a nat 20 to hit. Oh. Can I shoot? You, you, uh... <laughs> actually, that's a very good question. Uh, what does that bring your AC to if you shield? Uh, 21. So, yeah. But, uh... With a nat 20, his to hit would be over 21. Yes, yeah, I was like, for what total? But yeah, if it's not enough, then I don't want you. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Okay, so you're taking a t total of eight. 10 damage. Okay. Fortunately for you, the tie swords don't do much. 
Wait, actually, no, that, that wouldn't be that. That'd... That'd be 12 damage. Thankfully, a low roll and a crit. <laughs> and now it's chibi. Thirteen. That's a miss, unfortunately. Uh, Wait, no, you have advantage. Your allies are surrounding this dude. Oh, true. Dang. Fourteen. <laughs> that's, unfortunately, that's no better. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Ah, leaping up onto that uh, lower uh, ledge right there. I see. Yeah. You guys are really using your environment to your advantage here. <laughs> and that's it. Those were the best of the best. Tonga. All right. Two attacks. I'm in trouble. Gonna whittle down the time, man. With the vampire. Okay. So. Shit. That rolled the two. That rolled them together as opposed to. Because I have advantage, so it was just rolling. No, 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 it's adding the uh, the 2d20 together. Oh, is it? Yeah, see? Because it's 2d20 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. No, just roll one. Yeah, it needs to be rolled separate. Oh, wait, wait, okay, so it's, uh... It, oh, it's treating it as advantage. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I have it. So it's just taking the highest. Okay, so okay. I, I was slightly one. confused. I had to look at... It shows the damage, how it was calculated. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. So, yes, these are hit. These are both uh, hits. 26 and 23. And then... My bad for being confused. So, yeah. damages. That's five on that one. That's four on that one. All right. For a grand a total. Of nine. Yes. All right. Boom, boom. Go down. This guy is below, is at half health. Dang. Only half? What level is this man? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Well, he is a captain. We're gonna get hella XP for this fight, man. <laughs> and he just, you just kind of like, like ripped right through his uh, tie armor and just like, it's weaving up as fast as it can to catch up with uh, the damage you're inflicting. And you're seeing more blood underneath as, as you manage to break through. Am I bigger than him? Oh yeah, you are. Okay. I mean, he he's a tall guy, but he's not like half giant tall. He's a tall yeah. glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snyder, it's your turn. Oh boy! He starts his turn by singing that. Here's the rapid Oh boy. Out of sluts. And just make two spear attacks against his ass. <laughs> it, fuck it. I'll spear him. <clears throat> Two handed nice. spear. Two handed shit. With advantage. I forgot to attack. All right. 
Uh, ooh. 14 misses, I think. Yeah, it it misses, unfortunately. However, you still have your ah, oh, your uh, your martial arts. Yes. What we need to get you is a a proper finesse weapon. Yeah. Aren't I got a whole slew of weapons on me. What's a finesse weapon? What is considered a finesse weapon? A uh, weapon that's got the finesse property. Basically, finesse lets you use uh, dexterity or strength. Because, like, melee weapons typically use strength, and ranged weapons typically use uh, dexterity. Finesse gives you the option. I bet I could, I could probably make like brass knuckles or something for you or a gun truck or something whatever you wanted that's actually really cool <laughs> <laughs> for, another, for another time all right yeah as you as you like double fruit power. <laughs> as you're like fighting i'm gonna be like you know snyder right before you make your next hit i'm gonna need to make you a weapon <laughs> <laughs> uh you roll a d4 on play some normal damage uh, will I have to attack for the... No, well, not... Duh, I have to attack, but will I have yeah, to you, roll? Yeah, you, roll yeah, you just have to roll. Alright. D20, or... Yeah, it's just an attack Brain. roll. Alright. Yeah, Brain short sword, sure. any melee weapon that don't have a 2 Ooh. As you go and you kind of, like, slip in a... Uh, what would be a liver punch, you just get blocked by, like, a... A bunch of ties uh, forming a small tie shield in front of you. And the automatic defense. <laughs> Fuck! He, he's the Gara of ties. This That's is a... how you beat Gara. You overwhelm the defense. <laughs> <laughs> the Gara of ties is a saying. <laughs> Holy shit. Next up is Akisu. And. Akisu, uh, give me a quick perception check. Yeah, uh, you look over your shoulder, and the footsteps you had heard earlier, there are five zoo pirates uh, that have entered the square. Oh, that cat are fucking dead. <laughs> Do they... you recognize any of them? One of them looks over in your general direction, sees the giant Thai mannequin with their captain hanging from it, dead, and the rest of you surrounding the <laughs> Captain Vex, and he's looking pretty roughed up. And you're atop the building in a position of authority here. What do you do? I feel like I'm just gonna shoot Vex again. Yeah, see if you can get them to like run away. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can. Maybe we maybe by shooting Vex, we appear to be on their side, so then they help us. I'd say uh, if you want to convince them of something, <laughs> that you're gonna need a perception, uh, not perception, a persuasion check, or. Uh, or intimidation, depending on what you want to do with this. Right now, they're just like, Captain's dead. They don't recognize any of you guys, so they're just like, not sure what's going on. They Maybe see their, their allies Maybe I'll... and Thai men people all over the place, just bodies everywhere. I'm just going to scream over to them and be like, this guy killed your captain. And then I'll take a shot hard. at Vex. Yeah, I'm not wrong. You know what? That makes the that makes the check even easier. So you want me to do persuasion or intimidation? I think persuasion. Honestly. Yeah, your pick. Ooh. 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 <laughs> They're not <Damn>. convinced. <laughs> but they look at the situation. Oh. They see that. I don't believe you. And then he takes like a step forward and he, seeing the situation where y your unknown people have surrounded their captain 
Well, their their captain's dead body and the opposing captain. Uh, you know what? Maybe uh, we'll just uh, come on, yeah. come on, lads, get out of here. Yeah, you can't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, although that was a failed check, <laughs> they're not about to stick around and find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Me and Sider are both like that, that, uh, <laughs> zoo pirates are a bunch of cowards. They really are. <laughs> That's what damn near twenty years of complacency will do. That is so true. Any real conflict, they're like, oh shit. <laughs> They've had it too good for too long. But I have advantage or not. Uh for your attack, you you still have advantage, yeah. yeah. Nice. Good thing to go ahead. So going down. Two. Plus. Six. Eight. Plus. Two. Ten. All right. I'm aiming for the head again. All right. Bonk. Well, that was weird. It says uh, Snyder and Aki Sue. Yeah, that is really weird. <laughs> what? In oh, the, the what? Chat, it says what it's Snyder's name and picture, but your name underneath it. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's really weird. That's weird. So like ten can, damage. Question: Can Big yeah. Joe make uh, like grapples? He can, right? Yeah, he can. He's a dog. Good to know. Yeah. So yeah. So then after I'm just gonna tell him to like, turn in. All right. So, next turn, Big Joe's going to attempt to bite and grapple. And that's a five versus 13. Uh, Joe tries, but, like, he just gets a mouthful of tie as, like, a whole, like, sleeve rips right off and restitches itself back together. But, you know, the, the, this dog's trying. He's fine. He's doing a good job. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. And a, Captain a, Vex, looking around, uh, those cowards could have been useful. Oh well. And then he just takes a step back and just lifts his arms up into the air and creates a wall of ties. Which is going to be, I think, a Dex save for you guys. Okay. Everyone, everyone. Hmm. I'm trying to look for where the. Okay. I have to look at the spell first. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure it's a Dex save. Was it wall of fire but with ties? Wall yeah, fire? It, it's it's basically wall of fire but ties. Yeah, they have the All right, everyone, make a deck save. Do I have to do it? Even me? Uh, Even me? No, you're on top of the building. He's trying to defy things in front of him so he doesn't have Not to 20. disengage. Nice. Nineteen. 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 All right. So, Ooh, Big Joe. Nat one. No, Big Joe. No, <laughs> not the dog. Not the dog. This is not what I want. I don't want to see dogs. Okay, I have to roll five d eight now. Whoa! Five. Damn. Two. Four. Seven. Okay, he might make it. Ten. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound oh. good. Fifteen. It's okay, he'll just go unconscious. He'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Here's open. Big Joe has dropped to zero as he's just bludgeoned by the wall of ties. <laughs> Big Joe! What a likable the, the rest of you take... The rest of... Uh, well... I say the rest, but Tonga and Snyder, you each take seven damage. With a nat 20, do I get anything special? No. 
I am at three. I'm at one. <laughs> and oh then gosh. he proceeds to take th this opportunity, since he's kind of created a wall of ties in between the rest of you. And he's gonna run? Oh hell no! Hockey suit aims like with accuracy. Does it, does it like block line of sight and opportunity attacks and everything? Yeah, he's blocked line of sight with his wall of ties, which I'm gonna have to mark here. But I can see, right? I, I wish this thing would just like rotate proper. Maybe, it, maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, you can see because you're above everything. I shall be right back. I'm gonna trust in you guys to shoot him down. You can trust in me to catch him. Yeah. There you go. Big old. And if wall not, of ties. I'm about to fucking, I'm about to fucking jump on these fucking roofs, parkour style, fucking <laughs> tackle them. Given your size, I'm gonna that jump on that roof. Like being on a playground, fucking... playing the floor is lava. Literally. Yeah. I'm gonna jump off that gray roof right there if Chibi doesn't do anything right. and just kind of like yeah. starfish in, in the air to like grab him. I'm, I know. I got it. It's fine. <laughs> Chibi, go get him. <laughs> Chibi, just don't let him escape. From building to building. Jesus Christ. Go in front of him. <laughs> Action dash. Yeah, and then I'm. Can I like try to go stealthily? Can I roll for that? Uh, that would use a bonus action. Yeah, she's using it to dash. Yeah. Well. well... If you go back. Five if I go feet, here. Five feet. You... Five? Yeah, if you go like right there. You won't have to die. I'll go right here. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, so then, so can I roll for stealth? Yeah, it'll be against his perception, though. Right. So, 16 is the number to beat. Oof. That make it. Um, Nine. Uh, he he sees right. you behind him. Uh, you again. 13. And he dodges that attack. You kind of like fire at him and just... You just see a hole pierce through uh, one of the ties. And then it like gets tangled up and snapped. And that's your turn. Tonga. Oh man. <laughs> Will I take damage if I run through? Uh, if you run through, yes. You don't know. You do know that it's a bludgeoning wall of tie. I can't go around. And also, you and you, Snyder and uh, Big Joe, are caught up in the wall of ties. Oh, we're caught in it. Well, well, you're not stuck in it, but it's just like. You got caught up in the blast of it. And staying inside the Wall of Ties will cause damage. Is it at the start of the round or when I enter? When you end there. When I end there? Yeah. It's like, oh, I mean, I, mean, I mean, like, if you go through it, but, like, you're already in it initially. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, so cool to each creature I that ends its turn within 10 feet, within uh, the 10 feet of that side or inside the wall. Oh, so if I run through, I'm good. Yeah, because you're already in it, so you're good to run through. Because you're, because right. that's you getting out of it. All right, don't. In that case, I'm going to run up. Blood dripping. Cut to fucking pieces. I'm gonna make my last two attacks. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're just gunning for it. Go for it. Here we go. You need to do so. Seventeen. And the four. Oh, okay. So your first attack, it hits. Four. Okay, I run in with a pierce. Uh, 
scrolling up for my damage. Seven. You're not getting away from me. Hmm. I'm just trying to find where I put some notes real quick, but uh, how much did you say it was? Wait, hold on. I have a question. Can I? Okay, I have a cantrip. <laughs> I ran about. I got green flame blade. <laughs> oh, you want to use the, your cantrip instead? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and that gives me a chance to kind of I, check something real I, quick. Do I keep my hit or do I reroll? Uh, keep your hit? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll, we'll keep the hit. Uh, okay. The green flame blade doesn't really do you much here because that's like. At your level, it would leap from one person to another. Yeah. But it adds to fire, doesn't it? Oh, no. or does it only add the leap? Oh, I thought it added like a D6 of fire timber. To, to an enemy that's adjacent. Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright, then yeah, it'll just take the second flashing. But. I will say this. As, you, given how low you are on health, you kind of feel a surge inside you. Just like... Oh. Yeah, feeling a bit more resolute in, in your resolve as you're trying to take this man down. It's been a long fight. You get a plus one to your attack and your damage rolls. As your blade becomes coated in what seems to be just a black aura. Ooh. Okay, so eight damage? Yes. You see, okay, so you see my light that covers me like my mage armor darken as I rush forward and I make my attack. And that brings him down. He's still good on health, but that was a good chunk. And after that initial attack, Tonga, you you look down, and you now see that your this surge of energy has caused your your kopesh to be coated in black. Cool. We got hockey, motherfucker. Yes, that is a spirit surge. Ooh. Moving next up in order, we got Snyder. Yeah, he, 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 oh. All right, so just don't end your turn there. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to um, get Big Joe out of there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I'll tell him to move after my turn. He's, he's down. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's, look. No, he, he's, he's down. Un <laughs> so at the oh, start of his God. turn, he'll make a death save. Okay. But if he takes damage... Yeah, he can't move. You can move him, though. Snyder, Snyder, you're a doctor! <laughs> I... Save the dog! <laughs> I'm you going could... to use... Yeah, you could use your action One move. of my pirate prestiges. Oh, shit! For first aid. Nice. Oh, mm. nice. All right. 1d6 plus 4 hit points to an injured creature plus additional hit points. If we... And uh, you can uh, you can take him out with you. Yeah, it would just be half your movement. <clears throat> hmm. It's nice. To yourself and your allies. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to grab... Big Joe and take him out just outside of it. Get on the other side of the wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, there. I'm trying to look for where I put it. Let me one, D6. 
plus four. Okay, so you, so you get uh, Big Joe out of there. I, I gotta move his token. Yeah. So, uh, how are you trying to, like, uh, patch up this dog? I just quickly bust out the first aid kit again and rummage through everything. Just quickly trying, frantically trying to help this dog. All right. And then and, uh, boy. using the so is this like a cure or just a first aid? First aid. Okay. So uh, give me a medicine check. Oh, he's using his pirate prestige. Yeah. So oh, his pirate prestige. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. And as you're doing that. You also receive a just kind of a surge of like knowing what you're doing, like just like you you got it. You're just kind of like focusing everything on like kind of sensing with the dog, and you Trying receive to a figure out like what's wrong. Yeah. So you're just like okay, like kind of like it, it's an observation hockey thing. You're kind of like de detecting uh, within the dog. So you're like, okay, what's going on here? Think about your inner dog. <laughs> <laughs> Think about your inner dog. <laughs> yeah, because Tonga and Snyder have really been pushed to their limits in this fight, <laughs> coming close to death. <laughs> so that'd be eight plus additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. Alright. So, for me, I have three, so that'd be eight plus three? Eleven. You, yeah. You, you, you get Big Joe breathing again. Like, you're just kind of patching him up. Uh, like, okay, one, two, one, two. You get his heart uh, going with, like, a little bit of, like, a loose CPR, just kind of like a doing the chest compressions. He's stable. You get back here, you fucking... And he's like, I just like... I got you! I don't want to lose you! Big Joe looks up to you with, the, with just, like, the, those loving dog eyes. Just nice and wide, and you just, you just kind of uh, make pure eye contact, and you just look into these... These very beautiful, like white, husky eyes, and just like can like hear a, a silent thank you from the dog. In, in I give him a quick face scruff and just like, come on, buddy, we got to do this. We're almost <laughs> done. You've been with us for twenty minutes. <laughs> <You've already laughs> <been with us. laughs> All right. It's Akisu's turn. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just so full of rage that he just murdered my dog <laughs> that I do not see anything Snyder's doing. I mean, yeah, you, you just like, really wouldn't. No, He's underneath the dog! <laughs> I just start running across these rooftops and then I'm gonna jump from the rooftop and try to, like, grapple him and as I'm running, I say, you think you can kill my dog and get away with it? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off the roof and like try to like hold, grab him and grapple him. Yeah, you just you just oh, yeah. roof yeah. tackle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say, given your size, you have advantage in this tackle. And you would also. Well, did you? you was all your yeah, no. Thirteen is the it was number only to be. Twenty-five. Get behind him and you'll be flanking. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah, I'm trying to jump. She's just diving right roof. onto him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. From the roof. <laughs> what are you? Oh. Uh, give me an athletics or or a acrobatics, whichever is better. Advantage. Yep. Yep. Given your sheer oh, size. Nineteen. Okay, that beats the thirteen. You dive right on top of him, and you just you kind of wrap your arms around, and you just like your entire body weight crushing into him. And he's a surprisingly soft landing for you. 
It's all those ties. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you, you kind of like got them all like nestled up in a bit of a lock, and yeah. it's like a, yeah. I was, I was the... thinking like a, a grappling his neck and like kind of like doing locking him in, you know? Yeah, you got him, like got him locked in. It's just like, ooh, is that, is that silk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was an action, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll just end my turn there. Do you have a bonus action? No, I don't. Oh, don't you have like a dagger or something? I do, but that's that'd an be, action. That'd be offhand. Oh. Yeah, you're right. That, is that an action? Is that... that that would be like if you made a uh, you would you would have already had to have the dagger drawn, and like oh. you had your ranged weapon all out and ready to go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I had my slingshot out. But I feel like I would have put my slingshot away to run and grapple. Yeah, which is why I'm just like, okay, yeah, you're just like, slingshot away, just run and grapple. Yeah. But hey, you've, you've got him incapacitated. And on to Big Joe. Big Joe is just kind of licking a Snyder's face. I wonder if there's people, like, in the houses and they just hear, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> yeah, like, there are scared people in the houses. They're just trying to stay out of it. I see. Man, back to the time, man. Uh, dude. Okay, Akisu, do, I'm going to need you to make a, another uh, grapple check. Um, Same as before. Uh, okay. Just normal or advantage? Uh, just normal. Shouldn't she still have seven from her size? Oh shit! So you feel the ties uh, squirming around uh, inside your uh, lock as he slips right out, um, almost shoots out like a like a like say like you squeeze a banana too hard and like it just <laughs> slips right out. So I'm still holding all of his ties. Yeah, you're just holding. So he's like naked. A, you're just you're just holding like a big old cocoon of ties. So is he naked? Uh, except for like a, a few uh, ties, just like one around his neck that just kind of like stretches down his body, like perfectly covering uh, stuff up, but just barely. Okay. He's vulnerable. Get him. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, had enough of this. They have to disengage if he wants to get away with that opportunity attack. He, he looks around and he just goes for a big ol' tie whip. And, the and I'm gonna down. have. What's everyone's AC? Oh, wait, 16. no, that's a. That's a 21. Does a 21 hit everybody? Because this yep. is gonna yep. hit all three of you. Yep. Yeah. N not you, Snyder. You're too far away. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that's a... Four damage? I'm down. Oh, no, no. Tonga's down. Not again. We didn't have our throw. Finish him. Is that four? Is that four? And then he, he goes for a, a tie slash at Akisu. Bring it, on. Bring it on, big man. Does a 19 hit? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, for three damage. This is captain versus captain here. Oh, I'm just going to say, ha, you barely scratched the surface. Man, he's, he's looking pretty ragged. Like, after you've kind of grabbed his cocoon of ties, you, you see that, like, there are lots of scars and scratches from over the course of the battle that are kind of revealed. Dude, you've been fucking nice. you've been throwing down. He, he appears to be out of breath. He's on his last leg. It's Chibi's turn. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> right, we right shoot into the head. You have advantage. Because we're so close. Nice. Fifteen. Hmm, that's almost. Hey, yeah. The tie oh, that was oh. conveniently covering his junk 
whips up and uh, snatches the arrow out of the air and uh, sends it skittering away. What the fuck? And he, he looks at you, Chibi. You can't hit me. I'm a tie man. That was lame. Okay. I'm just gonna bust out <laughs> laughing at that. <laughs> Can I try to grapple him? <laughs> you know, we gotta give him credit for making do with such a lame fruit. <laughs> True. <laughs> there are people with worse. Oh, wait. What can you do with your... Can you make a... An action to make spell? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. But can I use my movement to grapple him? No, Grapple. unfortunately. Actually, okay. All right. All right. What all can I use pirate prestige for besides Ooh, recruitment? Uh, you can also use it for. Uh, <laughs> You can use it for. Hold on, let me scroll up to the top of the uh, PDF here, because uh, you you asked me before and I just didn't get around to you about it, and that's my bad. It's okay. Because the pirate prestige can be used for finding uh, objectives and uh, navigation stuff, as well as uh, let's see here. I gotta skip to the part where. Uh... Hey, Orion, I have a question. Yes. If she uses her Sulong transformation as a bonus action, uh, and that gives her another action, can she attack again? Unfortunately, there's no full moon out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're so right! I, yeah. I thought you could just use it. That's Unless cool. I do a chopper and develop a medicine, Damn. that could possibly bring it out at any time. You guys have about 12 days till the next full moon. That is something I do remember. That's cool. But all right. I'm scared. Okay, so you can use Pirate Prestige to locate quests, find minor clues, gain reputation, and in terms of the captain, you can use it to... Let's see... Uh, crew recruitment like we mentioned before and as a way to rally the crew so like if say someone uh disagrees with you on something uh in on the crew it's like oh hey like the crew's being too rowdy and uh wants to go against you like say the npcs are discontent you can use that to kind of assert your dominance oh, okay it's a way to get things back under control. Okay. Oh, we gotta knock this man. We gotta take his ass out. We gotta leave for work soon. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even get death save on my round. Fuck. <laughs> you got this. You got this. It's Aki's. It's my turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, um. Wait, was he poisoned before? No. Oh. That only gave disadvantage anyway. Oh. Okay. Uh, does, the, does the shrapnel glass vials do a little extra damage, or is it just like a ranged it's, thing? It's more like an AoE type thing. Yeah. Okay. If you do the trap, you'll hit both of us, and I'll die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alternatively, you could attempt to to intimidate him. Yeah. You gotta be at like one third health level. Problem is, I don't have any uh. I have, I have like a plus zero to my charisma, which is intimidation. So like uh, it's pure what the role is. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I, I get you. I get you. 
Well, well, couldn't I use Pirate Prestige to help with that? You know what? I'll allow it. Because that sounds cool. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll yeah. use Pirate Prestige. I'm going to say... and I'm, You're outnumbered here. And you're half... Why don't you just give up? Yeah. Like, normally your Pirate Prestige would be used to compel a crew member to do something. Even yeah. if they yeah. don't want to. But in this case, like, you're kind of trying to compel this guy to stand down. Just, just turn out. yourself Can into us. <laughs> Give yourself up. And you, won't, you won't. You will not win this fight. Roll with advantage for persuasion. Shoot him in the face. Oof! Wow. It's six. <laughs> Given how beaten up he is, the DC's a five, so... Oh, oh nice! <laughs> He's seen his men and their men get cleared out by you guys. You are relatively untouched, and you still yeah, have yeah. <laughs> a majority of your crew at the ready. It really didn't take much to convince him. <laughs> So he's just like, uh, looks around. Fine. Uh, you already killed my people. I got nothing else to live for. Time up. <laughs> time up. Time up. <laughs> I'll time up. Break his arms. Some... <laughs> Break his arms. <laughs> no tying shit out of you. I'm dead. I can't say anything. <laughs> Are we still in the mission? Well. He surrenders. Can I shoot him? Uh, <laughs> no! I will. What? Why? Because in my mind, it's like we can turn him in dead or alive, so why would we risk him leaving? Especially when he's so good with like tying and stuff. So if we tie him up. He's used to being tied up. He's the tie man. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you do it, I'll give you advantage. Did you at least do him like non-lethal, knock him unconscious? Oh, no, fuck. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so. One. Okay, so 12 plus 9. <laughs> Holy shit, wait, actually. <laughs> did, she, did she murder him? She did. Damn. <laughs> she's been missing oh, all of her shots, crazy, and the second he gives up, she's like, oh, I got him now. The crit, too, is so cinematic. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, like shoot him. He died. Point die. blank. I just nod and I like, walk back to the bird body. <laughs> I'm just like, like that's way over there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess I can do it. Do you have any right. syringes on you, uh, Tenru? Um, I'm unconscious. Uh, I know, but like, do you have them? Thankfully, syringes? we have Snyder I mean, yeah, on call. Yeah, Snyder would have. So oh, that yeah. ends the I'm, initiative. I'm asking because I was going to rummage through your pockets to get his blood for you. We should just Schneider. We should collect their bodies, I feel like, and take them with us. Well, yeah, but like, there. he wants uh, I'm the ending devil combat fruit, here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you know he wants that? Yeah, I would have. You would have talked about it. Yeah. I'm saying I'm asking this because whenever a devil fruit user dies, um, um, their devil fruit gets repopulated into the world, so like you would need to get their blood immediately after they die yeah, in order to like, do experiments on them. Yeah. So I was, so I was since yeah. he's dead, I was gonna take a syringe from him and get some blood. Uh, yeah, from I want him. blood from both of them uh, for research both. purposes. Here, both we go. of the 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 the, the Beaver devil Man and that were in this fight. Not the Beaver Man's the, gone. The lion guy. Yeah, he oh. Touched it. Yeah, I want both their bodies. Yeah, Captain Zoo and Captain have... Until we turn them in. I want both their bodies. Would it, ha would it be too late for the... And then Chibi's going them? over to grab the uh, bird corpse. You could. You could That's a double fruit too, right? It yeah, is. They both are He would have died like within 10 minutes of like 
I'm also gonna grab this person's body because I feel I feel like they would also have a bounty. Yes. Being like yeah, the first mate. Yeah, the you know first what I mean? mate, the vice, both the captains. Yeah, three to yeah, each round is a minute. So right there you have five bounties at your disposal. Yeah. yeah. Since, since I'm the biggest, I'll go over and grab the zoo pirate captain and bring him over here. Yeah, and I, I imagine Snyder patches me up enough to be oh, conscious. Here. Can I, like, Can I like, drag him drag over, like, but with my mouth, like I've, like, hunted a prey? Like a feral <laughs> animal? I mean, it's only half movement to drag a person. Okay, so, like, so I had to run some calculations in my head real quick. Y'all get 2,800 XP. Hey, I level up. Yeah. Damn. So you press the gear, and then you can write it. Like, I, I know traditional... Uh, XP leveling is just like, oh, hey, you take the XP, then you divide it amongst the party, but like, yeah, you guys earned it. That's not working for me. You, got a lot. you press the gear at the top left. Wait, actually, it. let me uh -huh. look at the stuff. Uh, and then uh, right over your experience. It's a cheat configuration. Oh, yeah. Maybe I did no, overcalculate but... that, but dividing it, factor oh, the other stuff. Can you do it for me, sir? You have to. Yeah, I'm doing math. I'm at 4325. Gotta love math. I level up to level 4. You're at 1450. So 1450 plus 28. Alright. So, factor in the extra XP, and y'all level up, divide it. That'll put you at the next level plus uh, 50 XP. I, I realized that if I do things the, the way I, I was about to, that, that would just cause more trouble down the road. Wait, for so the, the level, level curve. Level How do I level up? Yeah. But yeah, y'all do level up. How? Uh, so you go to... So you press the, the little gear, not the gear, the, uh, the wrench in the bottom. And the top with left. that, I'm going to... End things out. Oh, Thanks for okay. everyone who's joined us for this game, and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye. And then you can roll your so hit die. Thanks for joining us on this wild D and D adventure. We hope you had as much fun as we did. And if you're itching for more One Piece D and D or Nerd Militia Chaos, make sure to hit up our YouTube channel for all the latest shenanigans. Stay connected with us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia Zero for all the spicy updates. And if you're feeling generous or just want to keep us caffeinated, swing by our link tree and Patreon. Your support keeps the madness going. Until next time, adventurers, stay nerdy, stay awesome.